It's not very often that you can go walking down the street and see someone without headphones on. Now, most of the time they're listening to music on their cellular devices. But what really set off the trend? A portable music. The answers, the Walkman. Walkmans, like our cell phones today, come in a variety of styles. They don't have all the glory features that our devices have today. However, they are the best form of portable analog, a sound quality that recently has come back in style due to the trends in vinyl. But what is analog? For example, let's take this original sound wave. Now this original sound wave represents the music you would hear out of your headphones. Our digital devices, such as our phones, play the sound of our favorite tunes by converting the notes to ones and zeros. These ones and zeros can be represented as rectangles in comparison to the original sound wave. Now, if we take a closer look, we'll notice that our digital sound actually leaves a portion of the notes out. This is basically undetectable to the human ear. However, analog enthusiasts like to say different. Now, our analog sound is represented by the green line as shown. Notice how it's basically right on top of our red original sound wave. In your vinyls, this is due to constant vibration of the needle against the record. In your Walkman, this is caused by magnets. Yeah, that's right, I said magnets, so let's break it down. Our Walkman is powered by batteries. This battery turns the sprocket. This is so that the tape doesn't get any jams as it starts rolling. The tape itself is actually rolled at a precise rate between the capson and the pinch roller. The standard rate is 1.875 inches per second. The pinch roller's job is to make sure that the tape is tight against the capson, which will turn the tape at the precise speed. Before we can talk about the next big piece of the Walkman, we have to talk about cassettes themselves. Music producers will apply a magnetic flux to the oxide tapes. Oxide tapes were originally invented in the 1930s by German engineers. The oxide tapes hold the fringe pattern produced by the magnetic flux very well. Our fringe pattern then gets dragged across our electromagnet. The electromagnet is the magic piece of the Walkman. The interference the electromagnet gets from the fringe pattern gets converted into a signal that's given to our headphones to create music in our ears. This process works whether you're listening to the old stuff or the new stuff. Thanks for watching.